Modern Eggplant Cultivation Harvesting Technology Next Level Greenhouse Eggplant Farming Eggplant aubergine or brinjal is a plant species in the nightshade family Solanaceae. This is a worldwide growing plant because of its edible vegetable. Eggplant is a warm weather vegetable famous for its Latin name Solana melongena. They are a summer staple and are famous as aubergine in Europe. They look glossy purple and are used widely in Italy, India, the Mediterranean, China, Japan, and France in multiple dishes. They are in many shapes and in different colors that we do not find in supermarkets. So in this episode, you will see the hard work behind the scenes, how the eggplants are cultivated and harvested and how they get prepared for the market. But before that, hit the subscribe button along with the bell icon to watch more similar videos. Let's continue watching the ways how they cultivate eggplants in greenhouses. Eggplants are very famous for their growth in greenhouses, as growing them into greenhouses is simpler than you think. Cultivation. First of all, in a warehouse, they prepare trays with a very little quantity of soil and sow the seeds in there. When the seeds show a bit of growth there, they transfer these trays to the greenhouse. They sow seeds in flat soil for six to eight weeks before transferring. As temperature plays a crucial role, so maintain the temperature of 27 to 32 degrees Celsius of soil. When leaves sprout, transfer them into a cell type container or blocks. Usually four inch blocks are considered the standard size. When the transplanting is completed, the requirement of the plant also changes. At this stage, it needs 18 to 19 degrees Celsius in the daytime and 19 to 22 degrees Celsius at nighttime is compulsory. Impregnate with a whole nutrient solution EC 2.5 to 3.5 pH 5.5 or comparable as needed to keep the plants healthy and dark green. Transplanting occurs when the plants are 10 to 12 inches tall. In the row, one inch space is a must while two inches for wide. Fertilize the plant to two to four branches and open up a framework on the strings as we told you in one of our greenhouse tomatoes video. In short season areas, we recommend you weave baskets without pruning. When the eggplant seeds put forth buds, it develops a pile root, but the root develops in the following stage as a tap root and turns to rim embedded structure. While side roots can open out to a depth of 80 to 100 centimeters around. Roots of about 70 to 80% go deep in almost 5 to 40 centimeters. Many branches sprout on the roots and there are permeable stubbles on the branches. When the eggplant seedlings have 5 to 12 leaves, branches begin to appear though, tiny in size. When the leaves grow to their actual sizes, it gives rise to new plant tissues. These tissues change the plant from a vegetal direction to a procreative direction, and here its flowers blossom. This procedure continues until the new branch is developed, and in the meantime, a new shoot sprout is developed next to the flower sprout in the main expulsion. This formation builds a second side branch by advancing the procedure. This is a continuing procedure that works as a cycle after each two to four leaves. Their leaves are small in size, narrow in width, and thin to structure, but in a few varieties can be seen as large and wide. Though their edges are straight, however, you can see the large open cuts on their edges slightly slit. 
feminineness cannot be seen much on them as they are sharp and cracked to look. Their branches and leaves both are green in color. However, this is also a fact that many of their varieties produce bruises or purple-colored leaves and stems. Though flowering starts after this process, anyhow, most of the time it depends on the season the plant is grown. Flowering begins earlier if planted in warm weather. After sowing the seeds, the first bloom occurs within 70 to 90 days, while the very first flower sprouts after two to five leaves. Protection. Though greenhouse plants usually remain healthy and far away from diseases and pests. However, still, there are some casual bacterial issues and pests that can be the reason for your diseased plant. Let's have a look over them and take precautions. There are so many diseases such as bacterial wilt, verticillium wilt, or powdery mildew. They can badly affect your plant in greenhouses. These are very casual diseases that generally occur in plants. In bacterial wilt, the bacteria spread out to the plant through the plant's vascular system and causes the death of healthy stems. Verticillium wilt is a fungal disease generated in soil and causing the death of roots. While powdery mildew is also a fungal problem that turns the leaves of plants into a powdery substance. However, they can be easily treated by using a combination of bacterial spots with Bordeaux mixture, copper sulfate, copper, Cu2+, and fungicide in liquid form, etc. The eggplant harvesting process involves several essential steps to ensure a successful yield. It begins with selecting mature eggplants that have reached their optimal size, color, and firmness. Using pruning shears or a sharp knife, the fruit is carefully cut from the stem, taking care not to damage the plant. Next, the harvested eggplants are gently placed into harvest baskets or crates, being mindful of their delicate skin. Though robotic system has helped very much, they automatically scan the ripe fruit and cut them from the stems. So the harvesting procedure becomes so calm and peacefully complete. They are then transported to a designated packing area where they are sorted, cleaned, and prepared for distribution. This meticulous process guarantees the delivery of high-quality, fresh eggplants to consumers worldwide. Hope you like the effort and enjoy the video until it ends. We will continue our journey with you and we'll get new ideas for you. Stay awaited, stay tuned, and stay with us. Farewell.